do. <laughs> Go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button for me, player. You did. Hey, what's up, boy? What's good? It's your boy, Joe Blaze, Big Spring Bulls of Tennessee. And it's time for us to start talking about mental health, the benefits of mental health and pets. Yeah, boy. Because that's what we're about, man. Dogs that work. Dogs that help people. You know, service animals. Emotional support animals. That's what our bulls are for. You did. Because I deal with my own mental health issues. You know, anxiety, depression. Uh, I got anger issues I've been working on for years. Thank God I got married because, you know, that kind of helped me out. You feel me? But uh, I think the first step into going into this mental health segment and to the direction that we're going is to understand what mental health is all about, for one, and to enlighten you, if you don't know, about what mental health really is about. There's a lot of different avenues, a lot of different ways, a lot of different directions we are going to go when it comes to mental health. So if you're along for the ride, Let's go. And uh, here we is. What is mental health? Ask yourself. Uh, I know we deal with it. Some of us deal with it. Don't even really know that we do deal with it. But, you know, hopefully I can help you identify that issue if you may think you have that issue. I didn't realize I had it. So my dad died and some other things took place in that whole weekend. You know, before and after, because I've always been an individual who held in a lot. Uh, it takes a lot to get me mad. Just because I hold it in, uh, I can I can take a lot of pressure. Um, that's a good and a bad thing sometimes. I'm brutally honest at times. Uh, sometimes my truth don't go too well with other folks, but I don't give my advice to hurt nobody. I give my advice to, you know, Tell it like it is, you feel me? But mental health includes emotional, physiological, oh, I'm sorry, psychological, and social well being. It affects how we think, feel, and act. All right, you feel me? It, it affects how we think, feel, and act. So essentially, you think, you gotta think to, to make moves. Um, you gotta have feeling to actually have certain emotion. Um, and how you act, you know, your character is everything, your personality, you know, these are my interpretations. I'm no professional by any means. This is me learning and enlightening you because for me to get into this dog space, I got to know something about it. You feel me? Um, but I can honestly tell you from experience, when I realized that I had a mental health issue, it affected the way I thought. It affected the way I feel. It affected the way I essentially act. Cause, you know, without even realizing I switched up. You know, um, so many triggers. And we're gonna get into types and, and, and symptoms and stuff like that. But, you know, we just wanna break the ice with this thing, with this video right here. Um, like I said, mental health includes emotional, psychological, and social well being. So, I guess if you got a healthy mental health, you, you got good emotions. You know, uh, you, you think clear, and you, you're uh, more sociable, I guess, or networking. Is that what that means? Help me out. Leave that in the comments. You know, give me a little enlightenment. Tell me if I'm in the right direction, you feel me? Um, as I can only go with this learning by the emotions that I have directly. That's why each one teach one. I would take my knowledge to you, and you help me. Correct me if I'm wrong. Because I can't get into this dog space if I don't know the points and principles of emotional support and mental health and service animals. Because that's where we're going. You feel me? Um, it also helps determine how you handle stress, relate to others, and make healthy choices. Handle stress, relate to others, and make healthy choices. Hmm. It's almost like well, you, if, you, if you're stressed, you can't make healthy choices. And you can't make healthy, healthy choices. You can't really relate to others. You can't talk to somebody comfortably if you can't relate to them. So, therefore, that's why I guess a lot of people don't talk about their mental health problems. 
because they can't essentially relate to others the way they need to. Um, I, I'm, 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 I'm something like a loner at times, you know. Uh, you, y'all have to be able to, if I can hold a conversation with you, then we probably don't click. You feel me? Um, we gotta have something in common. I gotta have that vibe. Uh, my mental, what part of my mental health issues is, uh, I, it's, and there's a feeling that I get about certain people. If I don't get that done, I just don't mess with them. You feel me? Like, uh, do, do you feel like that? Like, you know, some people walking away, you might even know that person, but something deep down is just telling you, not you, yeah, I can't fuck with them. You know what I'm You don't even know parts safe, but yeah, you know, you can't rock with that person. And I, I truly believe that with me that certain things that I tell a person aren't meant for them right then. It's meant for them somewhere down the road based off the, even the based off the experience that I'm giving advice right now. Like, I've been in relationships where I told people I'm probably just here to teach you something. You know what I'm saying? Ain't that crazy? Um, like I said, mental health is important in every stage of life from childhood to adolescence through adulthood. And we're gonna go back to it also helps determine how to handle stress, relate to others, and make healthy choices. Now, from child to adolescence, this is like the key stages of life, right? That's when we're learning. Um, that's when we pick up a lot of things, so. And the environment plays a lot into your mental health, the way you were brought up, the way you were raised, where you were raised circumstances in which you are raised in are key to a child's mental health. I know, trust me. Um, I had a father that was on drugs. I had a mother that worked her butt off, you feel me? Um, don't get me wrong, my father worked his butt off too. But, you know, he, he had his own issues and drugs was advice for him uh, when it comes to his mental health. And we, I got that, my own story about that too. And we're gonna bring that to the light Later on, we just at the beginning of this surface right here. Um, mental health influence cognition. What is cognition? Um, the mental action or process of acquiring knowledge, understanding through thought, experience, and senses. Cognition. I never knew that until I actually started breaking this thing down. Um, that's pretty deep. Uh, influences cognition. The mental action and process of acquiring knowledge. So, if I ain't feeling well, or I'm not in the right state of mind and I can't learn, or I can't pick up on things the way I need to pick up on, I um, saw uh, your genius can't come out the way it need to come out if you are under, if you got certain issues or certain stresses. Um, and a lot of these, a lot of these, a lot of these are on the surface. You know, a lot of this stuff is you got to, you got to kind of know the person. You got to kind of dig. That we talk about like not the open cases of mental health that you will really see. Like I struggled with mental health all my life, but I didn't realize it until I was well over my thirty years, thirty years old. I mean, I thought it was just mood swings or something like that. But when you started picking up on other things, you kind of realize that's not the case. Um, perception and behavior. Mental health affects the perception and behavior. I, and me, a person like me, perception is everything. So, that's a big one for me. Um, in likeness, it can determine how a person handles stress. So, we just going, we just went over what mental health really is. Uh, uh, the definition of mental health. And uh, I'm just gonna go mental health and pets. Mental health includes emotional, psychological, and social well being. It affects how we think, feel, and act. It also helps determine how we handle stress, relate to others, and make healthy choices. Mental health is an important in every stage of life from childhood to adolescence to adulthood. It influences cognition. What is cognition? A mental action or process that acquires knowledge and understanding through thought, experience, and the senses. Perception and behavior. Mental health. Uh, in likeness, 
it can determine how a person handles stress. So, sometimes you gotta ask yourself, how do you handle your stress? Um, this day and time, my dogs uh, are a big part of my stress, part of my mental health uh, stability. Um, and this is why we are here, uh, to give you an idea and break it down, to explain what this program is about. Big Spring Bulls of Tennessee, we're all about the mental health service animals, um, emotional support animals. That's that's what that's the breed. Uh, our breeds are pit bull, and staff, bulldogs mix. Um, just had our first generation. We're gonna keep it going. Um, our dogs love. They love cats. They love babies. They love animals. They are protective. You know. Um, a dog's on as good as his own. So, take that. I'll let your boy, Big Spring Bulls, Tennessee. This your boy, Joe Blaze. Next part coming.